action. Without further ado, I want to introduce to some and present to many Bishop T.D. Jakes and Oprah. been knocked to their knees oh yeah oh yeah that's how we begin to discover that we are not in this world by ourselves. And when I talk about it, I want to go back to this whole thing about giving out. Uh, sometimes not only an absent father, but a deceased father. And there's an aching in your heart for what you used to have. You cannot reclaim yesterday. You cannot reclaim yesterday. It, it, it's, it's like going to the beach and sticking your foot in the water. And coming back five years later and expecting, even though you're at the same spot and the same foot, to find the same water. Time keeps moving. It will not be the same. You cannot reclaim those moments. What you can do is embrace what you have right now and to allow it to feel the vacancies of what you didn't get yesterday. It is that why oftentimes, and we're going to talk to some uh, fathers and sons reunited, is that why oftentimes when you're reunited or you haven't been with your father and you find your father and you try to build a relationship, you want to go back to what, what people want to go back to what was, they want to go back to what their idea of that should be. And instead of accepting that the water has moved on and you right. got to deal with now. Absolutely. We, yeah. we, we want you to teach me how to ride a bike. And you're 30. <laughs> you know, th this is not going to happen. Th th <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not going to happen. But there are other wonderful things that could happen if we would let go of the pain of what didn't happen. There are wonderful things that could happen if we open up to the you're possibilities. You're moving that foot there. I think you want to preach a little bit. You know, that's the thing for that me. That foot's going up and down, I think. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Try to contain yourself here just driving. a minute. <laughs> I think I'm driving the car. <laughs> 